Well done, Android. What are you doing? Stop it. Hi. Hi. <laughs> Two thousand eleven Red Monkey Lava Hand Presents Super Metroid Phase On. A Super Metroid hack released in 2011 by Red Monkey. Now I know what some of you might be thinking. Hey Balthus, didn't you do this game before? Well that I did, but that was version 0.1. This is 0.3. There have been a lot of new changes to this hack since then, including new graphics and gameplay mechanics. Like my previous Let's Play of version 0.1, I'm going to be going for a 100% run for this game. As of yet, though, I don't know if it's possible to get 100% since I have been encountering some bugs when playing through this, but I will give it my best shot. Now, for those of you that have not seen this game before, you get to play as Dark Samus and as you explore a brand new world and face a wide variety of new enemies. You guys are in for a treat. You are going to really love this, trust me. So let's go ahead and get started then. Start the game. Uh, check it out. We start out on planet SR217. Even this uh, map here has changed too. It looks really sweet. And here we are. You can already tell right away that some things have changed. You can see my energy meter up there it has a different font to it, a different look. It's really cool looking, and all the other icons too have different uh, graphics to them. And also you notice there, I don't have to stick around for that music to finish before moving on, so that's kinda nice I guess. A little awkward though. Okay, it's pretty much just like version 0 0.1, the starting area, uh, the path that you need to go is pretty much the same. Yeah, you can already see the graphics look really good. I'm, I was very impressed with this. Like I said, I think this came out in 2011. It's been hard to kind of pin a date when this came out. I've been looking all over for information on this game. There's not a whole lot, really. So that's why if I go for a 100% run, I might not be able to find everything. The closest I've gotten uh, was 99%. It said I missed one thing. Now whether or not there is one more thing, or that just wasn't added into the game, who knows. Because if you remember, for any of those that have watched version 0.1 that I did a playthrough on, um, I got 101% in that. <laughs> he had one too many items. So I thought that was kind of interesting. Okay, let's just make our way through the water here. I always love this music. It's one of my favorite uh, Super Metroid tracks. <laughs> <laughs> I'm passing by all these uh, missile tanks here that I can't grab. Okay, shoot you down. Yeah, I lo love the beam too, that blue that's uh, with the power beam that you have. Let's see. Now we got some baddies here, I'm just gonna avoid them. No, no need to really kill them. Yeah, you can already see, we went through two different areas there. We were in the Tetrafuse to start off with. We'll be back there uh, later on in the game. Actually, we'll be back there very shortly. <laughs> but there's going to be a lot of backtracking through areas in this game. That's pretty much the only downfall, in my opinion, with this. Is you have to go through the same areas over and over again. But other than that, uh, it's really fun to explore these new areas. Okay, the way we want to go is up here. We can't really go anywhere else because we need a, uh, particular items to go to anywhere else. What's funny though is some of the things in this game are ass backwards compared to the original Super Metroid. Like, if you remember, one of the first things you get is a morph ball, and then one of the second things you get are bombs. Well, in this game, things are a lot different. You'll see. Okay, what we want to do is wall jump up this way first. And you can see up here, 
We get another energy tank. So we're already rocking two energy tanks here. Very nice. You're definitely gonna need them. Let's see here. I'm gonna wanna come up this way. Ba oh god, he hit me in the face. Alrighty, nothing much we can do here. We can see they added something new over here. Yeah, what the hell is that thing? Well, we can't get through that without a uh, particular weapon. So we're going to have to just remember it for later on. But yeah, that's one thing I also didn't mention if you're new to this game, is in order to play this hack, you're going to need to know at least a few uh, special techniques to get through. Like wall jumping, uh, knowing that will be really handy. And um, even doing short uh, speed booster charges, that's another necessity that you need to know. But both of those are pretty easy. The game's not like Super Metroid Impossible where it just went out to fuck you. It, this one is pretty relaxing, at least after a certain point. The start of this game, though, can be quite difficult. Alright, so you want to wall jump up this way. You don't really have to, you can go up the platforms there that were uh, back that way. But I find wall jumping is a lot easier, especially if you know how to do it. Alright, get you guys out of my way! I'm Dark Samus, I got dark things to do. Dark and mysterious. <laughs> yeah, you'll see some of the new things as I'm going through here. Like the new items and some of the new rooms. There really hasn't been any new rooms just yet. Let's see here. What do we got? Alright, we want to head over this way. Yeah, right here. This is a new room right here. Now, as far as I know, this map here, um, it will show you uh, phazon particles. They, those are items you can get in the game. There's 50 of them in total. You'll see those very shortly. But when that light up there is blinking, that means that you haven't collected all of the phazon particles in this area yet. Once it turns off and stops flashing, that means you've gotten all the phazon particles in this in that particular area. So just keep that in mind. I know it sounds foreign right now, but it'll make sense in a little bit. All right, down the elevator we go. So you want to head right first. Oh, fuck that guy. I always end up running into him because I don't see him. Now once we come in here, be a little bit careful. Because not only is there lava, but there's a mini boss in here. Now we can't do anything to fight him yet, but if we come in here, we can get super missiles. And it's not the super missiles you come to think and know. These are just regular missiles, but for some reason they're called super missiles. Who the hell knows? But yeah, they just have the same amount of power as a regular missile in Super Metroid. So yeah, if you know this enemy, this is just a reskin of Spore Spawn from uh, Brinstar. He's a little bit weaker though, so don't worry about that. Oh shit. Yeah, you can see after just one missile, he's already going really fast. Yeah, you want to be careful though, you don't want him hitting you. That's why it's best to stay on this side and refill your energy and missiles on this side. And just shoot at him from over here if you can. Alright, give me that. <laughs> yeah, I, I made the mistake of trying to fight him on that side, and you, all, the only thing that happens is you end up dying. Oh shit, ow, yeah, look at that, he hit me once. Took off about 80 energy. Yeah, this guy don't mess around. Alright, just go ahead and wait for him. Come on, buddy. Open up. Blah! <laughs> and that's it. We've taken him out. Let's go ahead and wait for our prize here. There we go. Good as new. Now that we have missiles in hand, a few more areas open up to us. Woo, hello. <laughs> Now one thing I'm going to be doing as I play through this is I'm going to be changing uh, my controls around in the middle of gameplay, mainly because I like having the turbo button set up on fire, because that helps out when you get a particular beam upgrade. But for now we'll just keep continuing on. Alright, we want to make our way up back towards the top of this area now. Alley -oop. 
Ah, I just wall jump up this way. There we go. And once we get to the top, we'll take it right here. Yeah, you can see that missile there. I, can't, I won't be able to get that for a long time. I could get it uh, once I get the morph ball, but it's pretty hard to do. And I'll probably just uh, wait until I get like the space jump or something to make that much easier. Yeah, spoilers, the space jump is in this game. <laughs> it's not really much of a spoiler, though. Alright, and over here, we get the charge beam. So yeah, since I have turbo fire on, I can't use that right now. So let's go ahead and change that. No, not that one. Alright, press Y there. Take the turbo button off here. And there we go. Yeah, trust me, having the turbo button will really save your controller. <laughs> Alrighty. So let's go ahead and make our way forward. Continuing onwards. And now I'm trying to hold down the button. <laughs> Got a little bit too used to uh, having the turbo button on. Alright, now that you have the charge beam, you'll see this blue things here over these uh, gate switches. You can take them out with the charge beam. Alright, we can't do anything in there just yet. Or down here, so let's head to the left. Yeah, this right here is a brand new area. This wasn't here in uh, version 0 0.1. So they completely added this in. Not too shabby. Looks very nice. Now I can take out that. And go to the right here. Or left, I mean. <laughs> I don't know what I'm looking at. Yeah, you notice too that uh, missile doors only take two missiles to open them up. Which is really nice because you notice when I'm picking up missile packs, I'm only picking up about four or so at a time. Alright, now here in this room, there's a hidden item. Right there. So let's go ahead and do this. And this is a Phazon particle. There are 50 of those in total, like I mentioned earlier, so we'll have to keep an eye out for them. You get a very neat item if you manage to collect all 50. So we'll go ahead and do that, especially since we're going for 100%. Alright, we'll just blast by all these guys. That guy right there takes too many shots to kill, the red zoomer. So just leave him be. But this guy we do have to kill because he's in our way. Fuck off, buddy! There we go. And we're motivated now. Oh yeah. <laughs> Screw you. Now there's a missile up there, and I remember in version 0.1 I was able to get it. But I my wall jumping has been really terrible, so I'm just going to save that one for later. If you're really good at doing confined wall jumps, though, you can get that missile pack this early. Me, I'm not too good at that. So I'm just going to leave that for later. But first off, we'll make our way up here. We'll shoot open this door. Yeah, you see there's nothing on that Chozo statue. But if you come up here... Ah, it's hiding up here. Very sneaky. Yeah, I'm only getting, what, like two missiles every expansion pack. There are some uh, expansion packs, though, that will give you a ton of missiles when you pick them up. So we'll find those when we come across them. But up here we get another Phazon Particle. So that's 2 out of 50 so far. Now this thing right here will restore your energy very slowly. So if you want to stand there and get your health back up, you can go ahead and do that. But since I'm trying to blast through this game, I'm not really going to do it unless I really need to. Alright, we'll go ahead and head over here now. Oh, crap. Uh, check out the reskins of uh, the Space Pirates. Looks really nice. If you remember in version 0 0.1, they looked like uh, GF soldiers, and it looked really stupid, if you ask me. <laughs> so I'm kind of glad that they changed it to whatever the hell this is supposed to be. But yeah, best way to take them out is just do what I'm doing here. Just charge up your beam, wait for them to jump under you, and then just... Oh, like that. Sucker punch! <laughs> and there we go. Easy peasy. 
All right, if we come out here, look at that. There's a ship right there. We can't do anything with it, though. We got another phazon particle up here. Man, that's three out of 50 already. Flying through them. <laughs> All right, there's an item down there, but we can't do anything about that right now. So we'll just keep continuing onwards. We'll go down there in just a second, but we want to make sure you come over here first off. Ow, goddammit, fucking enemies. Because if we wall jump up this way, you can see that there's a missile expansion up here. And this one's kind of a hard jump to do. You have to hit this wall just right, and then do that. There we go! Another super missile! Yeah, make sure you collect up on those really early, because they'll come in, in handy. Because those uh, reskins of the GF soldiers or the space pirates, they uh, will take a lot of shots with your beam to kill, but they die a lot faster if you use missiles. So that's just something to keep in mind. Alright, we are in a new area, by the way. This is Kragsolis. Very interesting name. So let's go ahead and see what we got here. Now this is supposed to be, if you couldn't tell from the way this pl area looked, this was supposed to be like a dormant volcano. Now that will come into play very shortly. Let's see here. We want to go down here. Make our way into this room. This is a really huge room, but there's only one thing in here. And it's a really important thing, so we'll go ahead and make sure we nab it. It is an energy tank! Alright, check that out. We're already sporting four energy tanks. Very, very nice. It's really crucial, though, like I'm, I've been saying, because we're going to be coming across some pretty tough enemies that are going to drain our energy like mad if we're not careful. Let's see. Oh, god damn it, get up there. There we go. <laughs> it always sucks not having the high jump boots. I want my power ups, damn it. Ouch! That hurt, but it didn't really show the damage. I just heard the noise for it. Alright, past the big red barbell, we've managed to get another super missile expansion. And I don't know if you can see it there in the ice, but there's another item hidden down there. Alright. Go for a little bit of length here on this first video. I'm going to try and make these about 15 minutes long, if not uh, shorter. Oh god, fuck you enemies. God damn it! <laughs> Getting in my way. That's no bueno. Ow. Need to stop taking damage here. That's not good. <laughs> Alright, if we come over here, another face on particle hidden up there. Those things are everywhere. You gotta make sure you keep an eye out for them. First time I was playing through this, I just uh, took my beam and I shot everywhere. Literally everywhere. To try and find out uh, where all these face on particles were. Took me a while, but I managed to find them all. Alright, shoot these guys, but more importantly, another Phazon particle! <laughs> oh man, I, I forgot how many we have. Alright, blast by you, not even concern myself with fighting you. Oh, shit, blue dudes. Same with you guys, I'm not gonna fight you unless I have to. Yeah, I'm gonna need to restore my energy. <laughs> Looking a little low. It's because I'm powering my way through everything. Alright. First off, we'll go left here. Oops, shit. Went right past the platform. Now, there's something right there, but we can't get it because we have one of those white pillars in the way. But we can come up here to get this super missile. So yeah, just keep remind the, uh pfft. Keep a reminder on the side later on for that. But more importantly, there is a very, very nice item over here to the right. Alright, fuck you zoomers. Or whatever you're supposed to be called now. <laughs> but I, I just love all the reskins of the enemies in this. They look really nice. Very professional. Oh, and if you remember in uh, 0 0.1, my playthrough of that, I was bitching about how bad Crockermeyer looked, the reskin that was given to him. It looks horrible, but in this version, it looks a lot better, and you'll love it when you see it. 
But over here, we get Red Phazon, which is a suit upgrade for us. It's like the various suit. Yeah, check that out. Now we're all red. So what else awaits us here on this new world? We'll have to find out in the next video, so stay tuned for more. Super Metroid Phazon!